today from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. Between 4th and 6th Streets in downtown Minneapolis, we welcome you inside spacious U.S. Bank Stadium. It can certainly get loud inside this building. And just a few moments ago when the Vikings were introduced, it was downright shaking in here. They're set for football as the Vikings get ready to do battle with the Washington football team. And yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Minnesota's offense and QB Kirk Cousins set to go here. Leadership skills apparent early in his life carried over not just in high school but in college where he was a three-time captain of the Michigan State Spartans and learned the art of the comeback early in his career there and actually capped off his career with a big comeback in a bowl game before going off to the NFL. They go play action. Cousins escaping the pressure running. He's going to take off with it. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Safety Landon Collins, the one who got a hand in there, knocked it away. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Steps away. And that could be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Cousins the thrower. They're going for Jefferson down. back at so the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over being chased out left he'll try and run it space to maneuver at the 40 and he'll take it to the 43 yard line no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, here's Cousins, eluding the pressure, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The DN Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. Following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. They're going for Jefferson downfield. Double team, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. 
So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Following the interception, Cousins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And the stop will come inside the five and the four. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Brings up third and three. Third and short yardage, Cousins. Pressure now, but he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Montez Sweat drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Throwing, Cousins rolling to his left. And my goodness, this is incomplete. set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. Let's it fly for Thielen. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Collins on the coverage. Cousins now. Let's it fly for Thielen. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. You have to step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And now it's second down. It's Cousins. And his pass incomplete. I would say it might be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. DC Johnson. Vikings have made this now a one-score game. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. Big play. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Let's it fly for Thielen. And that's caught inside the 35. Well, a big play there. Cousins to Thielen. 46 yards. Well, it's one thing to grab it with one hand, but when you make a catch of that distance, quite another. Yes, sir. I mean, that one right there. We keep talking about the high-flying antics that we're seeing from receivers nowadays. Doesn't matter what spot they start in. But when it actually does happen in the heat of battle, it brings me right out of my seat. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Cousins gives way to Cook. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Pickup brings up second and four. To throw is Cousins. Letting one go deep for the end zone. He's got his man. It's taken in for a freaking touchdown. Adam Thielen, 28 yards. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally? So back to live action. Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. On first and 10, Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. Jefferson. But second down instead. Makes it second and 10. At On play action, Cousins. On the move to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. Steps away to his left. And he's got his tight end, that's Smith. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. First down, here's Cousins. Out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 42-yard line. Cook. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Buying time to his left. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. It would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they pass. And his pass is intercepted for the third time today. Picked off here to 32. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Try to fire up that running game with Dalvin Cook. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He was from the 26. They'll line up on second and four. Brings up second and four. Now Cousins lets it fly for Thielen. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Brings up third down. Cousins. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And it's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. Yeah. And he's 
going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Well, the training staff takes a peek. And now here's another interception.25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Chase Young. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Throwing on second and long. Cousins. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Chase Young picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Cousins with work to do after the sack as he brings his guys up on a third and long. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls in completely. And no room to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Cousins now to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds a defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense. And that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Brings up third down and 10. On third down, Cousins. That's complete to the receiver field. about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, they throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now it's the backup, Herbert. This offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. It would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. At the 20-yard line. Throwing again. Herbert dancing to his left. He'll run it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and ten. To throw again. Herbert lets it fly for Thielen. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. But now it's third down. And ten yards to go. 
A shotgun snap for Herbert. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that one results in 35 yards. On first down, Justin Herbert forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Vikings, first down. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. At the eight. Now a run with Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. That is caught at the seven. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the six-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert rolling to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second and goal. From the gun. Herbert being chased out left. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Justin Jefferson there to make the grab. And the Vikings leave the offense on the field as they're going to line up and go for two. To the air again, Herbert. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two. I think stats over the time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Smith on first down, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise or throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but it's... chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Cook, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Vikings capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this now an 11 point deficit. First down now. 
sliding out of the pocket. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Operating from the gun. Herbert, now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's caught inside the 30. Big play there for Minnesota. 47 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, Herbert steps away. To, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chase Young in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game. The way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on third down. Able to shake him off. He's going to let it fly. game nearly another pick now fourth down sets up fourth down all right they're gonna try and keep hope alive here on fourth down they're going for it fourth down here that pass incomplete well, Charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win Dustin Hopkins the kicker. the kicker Dustin Hopkins set to get this one going and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis now KJ Osborne and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line under center for the Vikings out comes the former Michigan State Spartan and longtime veteran Kirk Cousins and what really attracts people to him a passionate leader controls the huddle really well controls the locker room and also throws with anticipation and accuracy, especially evident when he throws the deep ball. Cousins on first down, buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. The tackle made by Jonathan Bostick. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. They'll roll him out right. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, they do snap it to Cousins. Let's it, and that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. Given nine there on the first down completion. Everyone has their strengths, They're able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll run for the cut. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They try again with Cook, and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win the
that battle. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. On the move to his left. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. And he is not going to be able to get away as they swarm him for a loss shy of the goal line. So here is Washington. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Off the play fake, Cousins. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He'll find his man on the comeback route. Complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one goes for 30 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Out to his left. Knocked away and incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. Steps away. He goes right back to Jefferson. And this one complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 17-yard line. First and ten. And they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. To the air again, it's Cousins, rolling to his left. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. Defense. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line, they gave up excellent. And he'll get it in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. Following the interception, Cousins rolling to his right. And it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Landon Collins. And a big turnover there as he's... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Landon Collins on the coverage. Play fake. Cousins. He'll buy some time right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On play action, Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. The have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Well, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin 
defense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Play action. It's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Oh, going for it. And got his man complete. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big pickup of 38. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll roll him out right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Justin Jefferson, 35 yards. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And man, Charles, talk about singing something in there. Those gloves, they help with one hand that catches the fun stuff. Then he padding for a rocket like that. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They go play action with Jackson, rolling to his right. They're going for Jefferson downfield, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. Now on the run. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 36 yards on the play. That is definitely what we call our defense in all our play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. Now they'll be tempted in Interception. This offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. On the move to his left. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup. The 24 yard line. Jackson now off the bootleg. Out to his left. He's going to go on top for the end zone. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Off the bootleg. Jackson steps away. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep... Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Ford. And it returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this will be caught. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A very solid gain of 27. The 36 yard line. Here's Jackson off the bootleg. Rolling to his left. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. They go play action now. Jackson, they'll buy some time right. They'll go in for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Sliding out of the pocket. Got an open man following Jefferson. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That third down conversion, good for 23. In Washington territory now. Here's first and ten at the 41. They'll roll him out right. Complete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Jackson rolling to his right. He's got his man in the crossover. First down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine yard line, 12 yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things and this is going to be intercepted. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Off the bootleg, Jackson on the move to his left. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. Throwing is Jackson. He'll buy some time right. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 23 yards, the final tally. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Justin Jefferson, his second touchdown of the afternoon, as his guys have now moved out in front. And it was a tight window. He knew he had to rocket that thing in there. He got it done. And when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He can't get him down. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. Able to corral this one, and Minnesota will keep possession. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Off the play fake. Jackson. They'll roll him out right. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And that gonna be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Off play action. Jackson rolling to his right. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson out to his left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he'll return it to the 24 yard line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They're going for Jefferson down feet. And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. It's a big one there for the Vikings. 44 yards. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. Now he'll throw deep left side. And the intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. So now it's two straight drives. have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On 
first and ten. It's Jackson flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Now Jackson off the bootleg. Sliding out of the pocket. Let's it. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. What a play that turns out to be. 36 yards. Yard line. From the gun, Jackson dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Steps away toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it's going to be second down. To throw again, Jackson forced out to his left, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. No gain. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Justin Jefferson there to make the grab. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Jackson. Being chased out left. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. They didn't want the tie. They rolled the dice and they... He will not attempt to return. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. By Jeff Throwing again. Smith. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. The Washington first down. Now Smith. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and second down. So line of scrimmage still a 39 on second and 10. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. 11 yards there, first down. First down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And he'll find McClure on this time as that's complete. 
The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. For the field goal. A 44-yard attempt. And that is no good. Right to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Vikings 37. Washington. Boy, so a chance to take the lead here in this fourth.